Researchers have discovered a Godzilla wasp that deliberately dives underwater to insert parasitic eggs into its prey. Here is what they found. Only a few species of wasps enter water, but a previously unknown species has been discovered in Japan that not only enters water, but dives underwater to search for and attack its prey. The parasitoid wasp was dubbed Microgaster Godzilla because of the Godzilla-like way in which it emerges from the water. It is native to Japan and has evolved enlarged and strongly curved tarsal claws. These are thought to be an adaptation used to grip to the substrate as it enters the water to look for its victim. According to a research article published in the peer-reviewed scientific journal of Hymenoptera Research, the female wasp searches for its host's larvae of the moth species Elophila turbata by walking over floating plants. Elophila turbata larvae make portable cases from fragments of aquatic plants. They live inside these cases near the surface of the water. Once the wasp finds its host, it probes it with its antenna and eventually forces it out of its case. Sometimes it has to dive completely underwater to evict the caterpillar. Microgaster Godzilla then paralyzes the larva with its ovipositor and inserts its eggs into the caterpillar's flesh. The wasp's parasitic larvae later consume the caterpillar from the inside until they pupate. You're probably wondering whether Mothra comes in. Lead author Jose Fernandez Triana of the Canadian National Collection of Insects elaborated in the journal article. The reasons why we decided to use the name of Godzilla for the wasp species are interesting. First, being a Japanese species, it respectfully honors Godzilla, a fictional monster, kaiju, that became an icon after the 1954 Japanese film of the same name and many remakes afterwards. It has become one of the most recognizable symbols of Japanese popular culture worldwide. Second, the wasp's parasitization behavior bears some loose resemblance to the kaiju character in the sense that the wasp suddenly emerges from the water to parasitize the host, similar to how Godzilla suddenly emerges from the water in the movies. Third, Godzilla has sometimes been associated, albeit in different ways, with Mothra, another kaiju that is typically portrayed as a larva, caterpillar, or an adult moth. As you can see, we had biological, behavioral, and cultural reasons to justify our choice of a name. Of course, that and having a bit of fun, because that is also an important part of life and science. Microgaster Godzilla isn't the only wasp native to Japan that has made the news recently. This next one is even scarier, and it's just spread to North America. Let's see, 2020 so far. Huge bushfires down under where at least 1 billion animals died? Check. Global pandemic? Check. Large plague of locusts threatening food security in East Africa? Check. Hundreds of giant Asian killer hornets appear for the first time ever in the Northwest US ready to kill honeybees? Check. Wait, what? We wish we were kidding. Just as the world is trying its best to keep its cool in the midst of a pandemic, giant murdering hornets never before seen in American territory are coming out of hibernation. This is what we know. Last December, the Washington State Department of Agriculture confirmed two reports of Asian giant hornets in Blaine, Washington. Reuters reports that two more unconfirmed sightings were reported in Custer, Washington. These killer hornets are now coming out of winter hibernation. Native to Southeast Asia, China, and Taiwan, Asian giant hornets can measure between 1.5 to 2 inches or 3.8 to 25 centimeters in length. Vespa mandarinia, also known as murder hornets, have stingers that deliver venom to their victims and mandibles capable of decapitating bees. According to the WSU Insider, the Asian giant hornet queen wakes from hibernation in April, finds nourishment, and then looks for a place to establish a colony that will later go out to bring back food. The bee population in the United States is most threatened by these hornets from late summer to early fall. While they hunt for food for their next queens, the hornets will decapitate honeybees and eat the bees' larvae and pupae. Well, you might be thinking, isn't this just nature? The circle of life, so to speak? Nope, not really. First off, we don't know how these hornets made it to the US, but they have never been found in the country before, so this new species is an invader and definitely a threat to beekeepers. Still not feeling this pertains to you? A threat to bees means a threat to human food production. We need bees in order for many key crops to be pollinated. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, more than a third of all American crop production requires insects to help pollinate, and the primary pollinator is, you guessed it, honeybee colonies. So what can you do? Well, if you live in the States, keep an eye out for these murderous buggers and call authorities if you're unlucky enough to spot one. 
But in your quest to take down the murder hornet invasion, please be aware of their painful toxin-ridden sting. Oh, and if you're allergic to bees, then definitely stay away because their sting could easily cause a severe anaphylactic shock and even, well, death. U.S. scientists managed to outsmart the dangerous and highly destructive Asian giant hornet by using a series of clever techniques to find and destroy one of their nests in Washington state. The Asian giant hornet also goes by the name murder hornet, and this was the first nest to be found by using dental floss to tie tracking devices onto three of the hornets. One of the murder hornets then led the tracking team to a tree that contained a whole nest of the species. The nest of around 200 hornets was then sucked out of the tree with a vacuum hose. After that, the tree was cut down and destroyed to make sure no other hornets could survive. The invasive murder hornet has a powerful sting and can spit venom. They target honeybees, which pollinate crops, and can destroy a colony of honeybees in just a matter of hours. Asian giant hornets are among the world's largest wasps. The queens can reach over 5 centimeters or 2 inches in length. Their venomous sting can penetrate humans' protective clothing. But the number of people they kill each year is low. They kill around 40 people annually in Asia, according to the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. When an Asian giant hornet enters a honeybee colony, it begins a slaughter phase in which it kills bee after bee and can destroy the colony in a few hours. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.